Super Ape Commandos, Statement of Principles. One, the continued support of alternative wacky nationwide. Two, the furtherment of a renegade suburban search and self-destruct hedonistic coalition. Three, the maintenance of a bombastic bourgeois binge-purging battalion of baby boom and microwave megalomaniacs. And four, the objective in-depth reporting of pre-processed, freshness dated American culture. Slip into your spandex citizenship, duct tape your moose and poofy head to the television, and suck new life from the old tube. For it is me, Tesco V, drum major in the squadron of doom, who will lead you on a fractured tangent to the raging torrent that is Niagara. Where you were say, check out this fun. We're ditching up Americana in the hot dog corn. Stay back to a rhythm in a comeback boat. Tag along as what you were say, who's down the road. Big fairy tale fantasy and travel lore. We're gobbling hot dog back, chugging tons of grog. Dancers in a G-string day We're rootin' flues and booze and cruisin' It's a whip and crane Some time for a city what we're searchin' for The rich get lit, sudden carnivore It's apple pie and or is gay Way, 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 USA Way, USA By what mysterious power is it that millions and millions are drawn from all parts of the world to gaze upon Niagara Falls? It calls up the indefinite past, said President Abraham Lincoln. Makes me wanna pee. The water that flows over the falls drains four great lakes, Superior, Michigan, Huron, and Erie, into the fifth Ontario at a rate of 700,000 gallons per second. But more importantly, this town's hurting. Niagara Falls, USA has locked horns with a lumber-rich landmass. Canada, a culture-sucking space pod bent on the total obliteration of the Empire State's honeymoon mecca. There's more than moosehead brewing in the cranium of the Klondikes. The schlepping tundra schmucks of the Great White North have a sleeper hold on their retarded sister city to the south. Morning, Ozer. Another great day for tourism in God's country, eh? Sure is. Unlike the Yankee dogs who barely have a wax museum to stand on. <laughs> but are we giving up? <laughs> are we giving up? <laughs> no! Oh, no! Niagara Falls, USA is repaving its road to ruin. Just listen to these testimonials from money-dropping globetrotters. Lois, I'm gay. I'm so hungry, I'd suck roadkill through a straw. No need, Mr. Wang. Niagara Falls, USA offers a cornucopia of indigenous victuals. Mm. Well, chicken wings originated right here in western New York. A restaurant owner in Buffalo, she decided that she could do something besides sewing the wings out. And uh, they've been very popular. They've spread throughout the country now, but they're still, still traditional to western New York. And you get the best wings right here in western New York. But don't worry. Due to group therapy and modern prosthetics, these wounded birds often go on to lead semi-normal lives. That's the word from Don Bittner, gourmet grease peddler at the Rhineland restaurant. More than a dispenser of draft drug water, the Rhineland reduces lifespans with another local favorite, roast beef on Kummelwet. Staple diet of a stout race who laugh at zoning laws. We're combating the vegetarian threat. Aber wir werden auch die nicht vergessen, die den richtigen Weg einschlagen. Accented by frescoes of the fatherland. Ah, the fatherland. Reminds me of what Papa used to say. Don't talk to your mother like that. Boom out. You're a bum. Dear old dad. Too bad I had to kill him. Hey, Jerry, what's there to do in Tonawanda? Well, Tesco, it goes like this. I live the life I love, and I love the life I live. I live the life I love. I just won a jackpot down at the reservation last week. Would I buy with it? Spent it on bingo, 
What was that last number? You mean to tell me that Tonawanda is the bingo capital of the USA? Yep, Linda goes to bingo just about every night. Birth school, bingo, death. <laughs> Life is simple in Tonawanda. Hello! Hello! Jim Bob Bondo here for Colton Auto Trim. Greater Niagara's best selection of quality Ford and Chevy conversions. I'm hip, Daddy. Step inside with me, won't you? You name it, this baby's got it. Auto everything. And for you good looking gals, you come in, your hubby buys two of these bad boys, we throw in this. This beautiful, cuddly, Garfield suction cup window thing. The highway flag of stupid. And remember, there's always free meat for the kid. Satan! Satan! What, mother? Where are you going? Swimming, mother. You are about to enter a foreign country. Be on your guard. The Canadians are not our friends. Remember, we're Americans. We outmurder Canadians 10,000 to 1. USA Uber Alles. The letter N. Nudism. Well, we were nudists at a camp near Niagara Falls, which is actually only operating uh, four months a year in the summer months. And we found you know, that uh, we would like to, to be nudists year-round. So we started looking for some property and uh, with the intention of building a year-round nudist club. And this is how the four seasons became more than a mere nudist lisa is also the queen of canadian rock and roll these are the sounds that touched my heart feelings. songs like canadian sunrise feelings fernando oh pa pa polka and many I many more and of course you remember this one Una paloma, to order simply dial 1-800 get nude and don't forget to catch Lisa on tour with another stellar hoser outfit, Garth Lovejoy and the Mounties, a tribute to Canadian rock and roll. Hot girls in love. How you doing, Niagara? Yeah! Well, I'm right! This one goes out to all you pin cushion down face rock and roll door man. Central to Niagara Falls, USA's born-again downtown revitalization is the Rainbow Center. Life in America means life in the mall. Mech culture at its finest. Subject, Dirk Bittman, all-American knobhead and mall hanger-outer. He may look simple, but in his mind, thoughts. If I only had a girlfriend, I feel so inadequate. Why can't I be like Bob Eubanks? He makes whoopee all the time. Everybody knows that. But I'm not like those guys on television. They're so suave and deboner. <laughs> That's debonair, Dirk. And you can be that way, too. Just follow these four easy steps to meeting girls in the mall. Real girl? Step one, flattery. Mall girls always try to look their best. Let them know you appreciate their efforts. Gee, you're pretty, you a movie star? <laughs> Step two, personal hygiene. Dirk, your vocabulary needs a new word. May we suggest deodorant? Will you date me? When hell freezes over. Step three, confidence. A man who radiates confidence is a magnet to the weaker sex. You play putt-putt golf? Not with a putts like you. Step four, success. In the 80s, wealth is synonymous with success. Even a dork like you, Dirk, can score with adequate cabbage. Want some money? I'm rich. 
sure. Just help yourself. And there you have it. Unconditional surrender in the battle of the sexes. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm standing on holy ground. The thundering herd, the time for God, lives on in the hearts of the proud possessors of these metal moments in time. The Schwarzenegger of street machines to be injected, pampered, and protected as one with their owners in a high-performance love clinch. And you can take all your Japanese high-tech turbo wussy wagons and stick them where the rising sun don't shine. It's here at Jafafa Hots. Our rods are our gods. And they serve food, too. All right. We return now to Dirk Bittman's date. Dirk, before you date my daughter, I want to ask you a few questions. Where are you planning to take her tonight? Thunderbolt. Okay. Are you or have you ever been a heterosexual? No way. No, Dirk. I want an honest answer. Do you plan to stop at second base? Yes. Ouch. What are your intentions with my daughter? Would you believe white slavery? It's time to play Rate the Wedding Video. Five points for dissolves, 10 points for wipes, 15 points for digital effects, and 25 points for Vaseline on the legs. Shadow, roll that tape. Shh. The Indian Room at the historic Hotel Niagara where many a white man, Indian, Tong War, Fork Tongue cussing match has taken place. It is said that to this day, guests at the Hotel Niagara receive phone sex from the phantom ghost of one Yukon Parnelli, last seen traversing the fall on a primitive surfboard. Look closely at the mural behind the bar at the Indian Room. Those of you with an IQ of 120 will easily notice the smile of one Yukon Parnelli. Later in the show, We'll be opening the secret vault of that foul mouth phantom. But for now, let's enjoy the show. The pay is forget it. You might as well forget the money. It's, it's, the money's not worth what you do. It's the, the smiles you see on people's faces, the laughter, the tears. My name is James Joyce and I'm the Niagara County Coroner and specifically the area that I um, investigate is the city of Niagara Falls and I have the the unfortunate position of having to to investigate deaths at, uh, of people that unfortunately go over Niagara Falls. So the water has a very drawing magnetism to it and uh, you know people that are distraught are, are called to the falls and uh, they know that once they are in the upper rapids that uh, it is inevitable if they go over the falls that there, there's no way that they're going to live. So it is a, it is a final, final act and there, there's no turning back once they're in the water. One of the unusual situations is that the Maid of the Mist, which is a local tourist boat that goes underneath the falls, uh, normally is, is, is full of tourists and it's normally a tourist that will spot uh, a victim of the falls. Uh, in one particular situation, there was a local news company doing a feature story on Niagara Falls. And the news cameraman and the, the talent was, was talking when over her shoulder they saw a man who was actually going over the falls committing suicide waved to the camera. Yeah, well, what happens is when they, when, if they go over the, uh, the Canadian Falls, now the Canadian Falls is what they refer to as a horseshoe falls. That is pretty much free of any rock debris at the bottom of it. Uh, contrary to the base of the Niagara American Falls, there's large boulders. So unfortunately, if they go on the American side, uh, very often we have to go down and retrieve the remains from the rocks. The other situation being if they go over the Canadian side, 
they, they can for weeks at a time be caught in the undercurrent beneath directly beneath the falls itself and that's not a pretty sight this photo is james joyce's daughter <laughs> I was just saying that, you know, in the Love Canal, it was so highly publicized. We had a rash of young teenage suicides several years ago. And the Love Canal Homeowners Association members felt that the children's brains were being deformed by the, the docks. And it the morgue, the merrier. It's just about, even in, in the face of death's tragedy, there is humor. There's humor in life, and there is humor in that. Yeah, one hell of a drop. I'm lucky to still be evil. Deep inside Tesco V. I'm gonna shoot. Tesco V, star of Dude Ranch 9000 and Gummy Bears L'Amour, in the role he was born to play. Featuring Wanda Fondue. You are hard. Thank you. Never before have these titans of Tinseltown intertwined their hard bodies on the silver screen. Wanda Fondue, so hot, she has a half-life. Tesco V, so big, we had to use Super 8 to film. Deep inside Tesco V, where 20 years of dietary folly hang like so much confectionery stucco. Deep inside Tesco V, catch it. <coughs> and that's how I met Flu Flu, my pet virus. She was a 24-hour bug I'll never forget. <coughs> I remember the walks we used to take along the nearby Love Canal. An environmental disaster area 10 years ago, now a burgeoning wetland welcoming wildlife back into its day-glow bosom. We were very happy wandering the garden spots of Niagara Falls, USA. Our love was infectious. I shunned the doctor's remedies that would take my flu-flu away from me. But to no avail, she was a one-celled femme fatale. As my symptoms passed, so did my flu-flu. But at her funeral, I was a pillar of bereavement. Well, one of the, the things that's different between uh, Pet cemetery and Human cemetery is that most uh, people bury people because they want to or have to. They bury their pets because they want to. I used to raise dogs at one time, and uh, uh, one of my clients that I had sold a puppy to, uh, was, we made friends, and they said that the man around the pet cemetery died. And she knew that uh, I liked pets and so forth, so she says, why don't you uh, go buy it? So I did. I took the money that I had set aside for to buy my wife a house and bought her a cemetery instead. But like so many Americans, I'm a survivor. Ashes to ashes and dust to drink. I rebounded in my local bar. So there it is in a nut bag. The choice is up to you. A crass Canadian glitzy facade or a slightly faded Stars and Stripes USA. Are you a patriot, or will you kowtow to the enemy? On your next honeymoon, buy American. And here's Tesco. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Timmy. And as promised earlier in the show, we will now, live on Way USA, in syndicated sense around, Disclose the contents of that foul mouth phantom's vault, Yukon Parnelli. What will we find inside? Useless Chinook Gradu? Petrified peace pipes? Squaw porn mag collection? Or the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald's treasure? Let's find out, shall we?
love home movies. Don't you love home movies? No. I love home movies. I saw some serious rice burners outside. It's all fucking FZ. Fuck Harleys. Fuck yourself. That's... This is dedicated to all those guys who like slingshot acceleration. And you know who you are. It's called War of the Super Trikes. Another clandestine late night road But it was the war of the super bomb. Red hot pipes and running Get your job to the start. But when the dust cleared up, my devil fell. One man, one life, one people screaming across the finish line. Down in the gym we four With my air cool transverse in my force of four I knew the eleven one there was a man to burn I really stayed away the had me in the church And they blasted out of the fire But there's just smoke and flush Only two to be done And they laid it down into those greasy ass turns in the distance, all over is our Japanese leg runners. Sounded like some sort of mutated gigantic insect. Screaming out lots of mistakes. Shout out of God's fucking slingshot! think of my latex lucifers. I wear these at all times to ward off the forces of good. We got, we pulled a couple of the moldy ones out of the closet for all the sailfish heads in the audience. For those of you with the mutated hair somewhere in between. Reality and Saturn. Did you ever wonder how these intense macho cock rock bands make it through the whole set without urinating? That thing was hanging out. They use the official Tesco V all latex urinal bag. Can you see that? 
We have the black market baby, the gangrene, and the lords of the new church signature models available at the back door. Or the alcohol sodden drug bag band of your choice. Maydon. Are we ready? It's about as funny as I can be between songs. One vital need. 
excess and lusting in free. to Baltimore, the hairdo capital of the world. Way USA, check out this fun. We're dishing up Americana in the hot dog corn. Stays back to a rizzle, man, a comeback boat. Tag along as what you will say goes down the road. Big fairy tale fantasy and travel along. We're gobbling hot dog back, chugging tons of grog. I've been a duty ticket, dancers in a G-string day. Bazootin', cruising, boozing, cruising, it's a whip and craze. Time for city, what we're searching for. The rich get glitz, sudden con and boy.
Hey, weanbags and love bombs. Ivy Tesco via the legendary Meat Men, a walking, talking barometer of modern culture. And your host for this extravaganza of cosmic fun and frolic. Prepare thyself for a hefty dollop of real Americana. Dig the buxotic bimbos, undulating to the hedonistic tunage. And we'll be gobbling real food, lots of red meat, and deep fried everything. And can the yuppie tours gig already? We'll be hanging with wacky functions, go to recreate, have safe sex, shake their post-punk booties, and ride hot rails in Kalamazoo. Crash and burn, baby cake. Welcome to the Narcissus Room at the Pilot's Motel, located on City Pulaski Highway, a model neighborhood of video sod and master ace love bungalows. Oh, doctor! It'll never fit. Ah, Baltimore. When you're here, baby, you don't use words like nuance, ambiance, or quaint. You need real adjectives like moxie, verb, and chutzpah to describe this place. I mean, you got bowling down at White Trash Magnet Lane. You got footlongs with Kraut down at Blind Hank Steele's Weenie Roadhouse. It's the capital of sleep. What better place to kick off our debut show than here in Charm City? That's cool. You know, every morning I get up, take care of the three S's, flog the hug, feed the dogs, and hop into my high-performance Super B muscle car and head on out for a good old East Coast platter of eggs. We're talking baby chickens and mass. <laughs> so what's the deal with the extra eggs? Well, I, instead to say I give two eggs or three eggs like I does years ago, this year I'm thinking to say I, I'm going to give as many eggs as you like to eat with no extra charge. This is the deal for leg, for leg good grill. Yeah, give me this scrapple, the Italian sausage, the ham, the bacon, and a couple dozen over easy. If my heart stops, kick me in the chest. Tesco, welcome to Together Dating. What's shaking, Fun Buns? You're looking choice. Well, Tesco, we are the largest service in the country, and we have over 70 offices across the U.S. There's over 70,000 members, and we have eight offices right in the Baltimore, Washington area, okay? Now, we don't use any type of videos or computers. What will happen is you and I will develop a rapport between us and I will introduce you to the types of women that you want to meet, okay? So, Tesco, what are you looking for in a date? Coitus. <laughs> First of all, Mr. V, I suggest that you lose the fur. Now, getting back to your preference. Well, you know, well-endowed, body, robust, a little sweaty, fair of hair, you know, ebony. Ebony? You mean... I'm way into black women. <laughs> So there I was, on a dream date with the biggest starlet in Baltimore, Miss Jean Hill, prize filly in the John Waters stable and first lady in the greeting card industry. So I asked her, Jean, what about Ed Meese and this smut report thing? I've never seen a man that I couldn't have. Why, well, I saw you walking up the street and said I must have him as my slave. You see, you think you are a computer date, but darling, I put my roots in you. I don't know whether it's the fat or the funk or the ambiance, but all men are attracted to this, to this 448 pounds. You see, darling, you'll be mine for as long as I want you. So then I asked her, Jean, I'm famished. Got anything moist and meaty? My wish. Oh, my wish is that people would see people as people. Not fat, black, old, young. Just wonderful, wonderful people. Enjoying themselves, making money, feeling good about themselves. Just being who you are and what you want to be. I always dreamed of being a model. It took me until I was 448 pounds. 
to become a model. By now it was obvious that I was falling in love. My heart was pumping. My pet king snake was turgid. My nostrils were flared. I saw myself as Mr. Tesco Hill. It would be a marriage made in heaven, or at least Glenn Burney. You know, you only go around three or four times, so it's gotta be special. There's more bridal shops than 7-Elevens in this sweeping necropolis. So if you're looking for that extra touch of choice, you've got no choice. It's La Fontainebleau Bridal Mall in Glen Burnie. This Taj Mahal of matrimony has everything from coach lamps to lime green tuxedos and the banquet room. Sheer understated elegance. The finest BFW hall pales by comparison. Let me tell you about the bird and the... I love cable! Remember, hon, Satan's jumping through a ring of fire with Jesus right on his tail. Okay, okay, I'm still working on the ring. How's the chili? Wicked good, babe. So anyway, I got this beautiful woman tattooing my right buttock. I got a bowl of award-winning chili in my face. I'm spinning into another dimension. So you get the locals that come in and go down on that stuff? Yeah, yeah, everybody comes. Uh, we got one guy who comes in a lot. He's a cheerleader type fella from the stadium, Bill Hagee. He's uh, the Wild Bill yeah, Hagee. Yeah, the Wild Bill Hagee. The Baltimore Orioles thing. Yep, yeah. and uh, he comes in, you know, he likes to go for the hot stuff. There was one time he was in with a couple friends, and he was, you know, he's going for the belly burn stuff, you know, just dosing it down good. And he wanted, you got anything hot, Rick? I said, yeah, no problem, Bill, because we got the industrial grade stuff in the kitchen, you know, we use in cooking, and it's just too strong to put out here. People eat it, they just would try it, and, you know, we have, you know, casually, so it's no good. So he says, uh, yeah, all right, so I'll bring him a little bit out in a cup. Well, I thought he was going to, like, put it on his chili. He threw it back like a shot. Came out of that booth, did a little dance around the floor, and like his face got red, and he broke out in a severe sweat. And he said, man, I ain't never asked for nothing hot here again. I said, no problem. <laughs> cool, daddy. No, not so much cool as hot. This is hot stuff, hot stuff. So, Elaine, do you have any advice for any aspiring prize-winning chili chef tattoo artist? No! And after dinner, dancing with Paul Taylor at the Mighty Wurlitzer. Glad to see you in the each and every one of you, sir, at the Beltway Lounge, and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. We'd like to welcome you all here tonight, and we hope that you all have a nice evening here with us. And if there's any special occasions in the audience, birthdays, anniversaries, be sure to send them up. We'll play a special song and also a special introduction. I'd like something in a frosty floral confectionery cocktail. And don't skimp on the impaled fruit. A way hefty injection of balls out Arthur Murray mayhem, don't you think? My ventures took me from Buffalo all the way to New York City with the Holiday Inn organizations. And when I got into New York City, the man that hired me had a heart attack and died. I'll tell you, Baltimore, when I first came here, I was scared. I really was. I didn't know what I was coming into. I had no I have never been to Baltimore in my life. A lot of these people go to dancing school just to learn how to dance again. And they come in here and they like to do the meringue and a cha-cha and an upbeat number, a swing beat number. It's a variety of music and my whole repertoire is made up of a complete variety of, of music from the top to the old. And this is way, the way the crowd goes here at the Beltway. You know, we proceed in endless miasma of homogenous top 40. And although it seems inescapable, there is another dimension. 
the swinging sounds of lusty loungers like Dean Martin, Andy Williams, and Tom Jones are alive and well and living in your locale. Simply strap on your crushed velvet high top curb crawlers and head on down to the Hell David group of your neighborhood Holiday Inn. Or do like the natives do and rub the great white checky butt. Wow, what can I say, but welcome to my world. I must say, you've been one hell of a dynamite audience tonight. And before we go <coughs> any further with tonight's show, I'd just like to say this. And this is something that I feel must be said. I'd like to thank each and every one of you clowns for allowing a cat like me to become a part of your family, if only for a short while this evening. You see, I spent my formative years growing up in a series of foster homes and state institutions. So you're like the only real family I've ever had, and well, you're, you're pretty damn special to me, okay? But sometimes I find myself all alone in a, a motel room somewhere, asking myself this, well, this, this poignant question. What kind of fool am I? Adonis from Paramus, who consummate pro and a beautiful human being. He's heaven sent, but his soul's hell bent. I mean, once in a while, life deals you a good hand. What can I say? I got my dizzy stick. I got a hot tub full of Dutch beer. I got the new issue of Buck Naked Karate Girls. I mean, I feel about as happy as the Hager twins look. John Waters, Baltimore's primary export and the world's second finest filmmaker. Often referred to as the new Disney for his bold use of a similar mustache, Waters makes films for the entire family, if your family is not well. <laughs> I'm scared in my shopping malls. I'm scared uh, in places where everybody wants to be like everybody else because I, I can't imagine that feeling and it makes me very nervous. Well, when I was a kid, all I wanted to do was go to amusement parks all the time. Uh, that was my favorite thing to do, was go to an amusement park. And I always fantasize an accident happening for some reason so I could just stand there like a little ghoul and see, like, the octopus car fly off. Never happened, but I was always secretly kind of hoping it would. And I'd force my parents to go on the rides with me, and they hated them and get sick and everything. So, you know, it wasn't a great thing for my parents. It wasn't a great family vacation, but I always loved it the most. Highways are kind of scary because you have to stop at those Betsy Ross service areas and stuff, which are really horrifying, I think. And everybody looks so ugly, including myself. I mean, you go in there after you've been on the road, and it's really like Night of the Living Dead, and you have to eat, like, you know, plastic food and look at really scary families and stuff. So that's pretty a horrible way to travel, I think. And I like to look at the videos they have because they have the most violent videos that I've never even heard of. <laughs> I don't know how, who's the buyer for the 7-Eleven video department is. Dogs make me nervous when their lips touch my flesh and my blood turns to ice water. I used to make my sister go to Elvis Presley movies and scream like she was a fan for no reason. And she didn't even like Elvis Presley. So then I said, you have to scream. And this, and this is in the 50s when Elvis first came out. Because I had read about the girls did this in theaters, right? So, but they didn't in suburban Baltimore. My poor sister would just have to sit there and scream, and, and people just look at her like she was crazy. But I wanted to make it more of an event that I had read about in Life magazine that this happened at all those wrestling movies. Mosquito bites on the ankle is a, is a definite beauty mark of the white trash look in the summer. Sitting in your chair out front of your house watching TV with just a bra on is another pretty good giveaway. You really can see Baltimore when it's really hot. All the stuff that the Chamber of Commerce tries to hide because it comes from within their houses out into the street because it's too hot to be inside. So uh, it's a great time to ride around Baltimore in certain neighborhoods and really see uh, certainly the look about Baltimore that has influenced me in my films is very more evident in the summer. One arm is a big look. Yeah, sometimes. No, I don't. <laughs> Nothing against the man, but I don't. I don't believe I own any Tom Jones records. No. Come to Papa. Uh, woo! Oh, work it, go, baby, go. Oh, that's it. Do it now. Do it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Mm. White girls. Hey, you 
The block. Baltimore's equivalent of heaven. I met a girl who told me she's a dancer. A pretty girl I've never seen before. I went to the theater to see her. What a shock when I opened up the door. She was dancing the bump, 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 bump. The audience was going wild. She looked at me and threw me a kiss. As I came stumbling down the aisle with every bump, 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 my heart started bumping too. Singer, baby, singer. Brazen new bile, bumping and grinding in a friendly postmodern bordello decor, and at no cover charge. Criminy, it costs twenty-two cents to write home to mother. Something to drink, pig. Perhaps a cola uh, poured from your studded latex boot, miss. Your soft drink, Mr. V. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to get serious for a moment and discuss a serious subject: burgers, bags of burgers. From one of Maryland's holiest institutions, the little tavern shop. My whole face starts watering when I cop a gander at this prize flesh of scorching. Push down a sack of these gut bombs and your belly's glowing hot and satisfied. Mmm, a taste-tempting treat. And centrally located in the theater district. But you know what, white trashers? Even a hate-loving enemy of society like myself, Tesco V. Occasionally requires stimulation of a more classical nature, something more mature. Apocalyptic streetwear for the discriminating bimbo in all of us. Uh, Eleanor, you got these in a size 14? Oh, just a second. Let me check. Do you have anything I could be friends with? Oh, I have just a thing for you. When Mr. Sandman's relentless knocking won't let me sleep, a bedtime story often provides a moment's respite from my bent and twisted psyche. Oh, oh my favorite, The Police Blotter, by Richard Irwin of The Evening Sun. It, 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 had, to do with, it had to do with my... Uh 
the suit I, I got married in, and uh, I, it was a shooting on uh, Maryland Avenue several years ago. And I got there, it was a hot summer's day, and uh, walked up into the, uh, into the apartment, and on the second or third floor was an elderly man sitting in a, sitting in a chair in his bedroom, and uh, he was dead. And they knew he had shot himself in the left side of the head, and the bullet went out the right side of his head and bounced off the radiator, and it hit the wall and fell behind another radiator. They eventually found the bullet, but they, they never did find the gun, and yet they were satisfied it was a suicide. And uh, so everything was going fine, and I was standing here taking notes, and um, the corpse was sitting right there in front of me. And all of a sudden, the medical examiner's team came in, and they, they moved this man. They picked him up. Uh, he had been dead for several hours before he was found. And then that, all of a sudden, that, that odor came up from the decomposition, and it just saturated everybody in the room, including me and, and my the suit that I had on. It was the one that I was married in. And no matter how many times you dry cleaned it, every time you put it on, especially during the warm weather and the heat of your body, out it comes. And you just have to chuck it away. It was a really nice produced suit. This police blotter column that I write, uh, it has numerous shootings on any given day in Baltimore City by, by kids 12, 14, 15 years old shooting other teenagers or holding people up. Uh, and they turn out to be real guns, not necessarily toy pistols. And the cops catch up to them, and they find that these kids are in possession of real firearms. They usually get them from burglaries, you know, people who have the guns in their homes and make them readily available to anybody who breaks in. And, uh, that's a tremendous problem in any big city. Well, I, I belong to the NRA. <laughs> no, no, not the bludgeon of hate. Tesco, welcome to Dwarfman Museum Figures, where we make the figures for wax museums. So, uh, where do you get these, uh, the lifelike uh, quality of these figures? Well, we sculpt the heads out of clay using photographs and references and drawings and descriptions. So, I guess it has nothing to do with the cemetery across the street. And after the heads are sculpted, we cast them in a plexiglass mold. Mm -hmm using vinyl plastic and after the heads are baked in the oven we put the hairs in one at a time usually implanted then we use the eyes that are made from um, glass that humans would use if they would lose an eye i saw this guy on a milk cart okay i'm ready to place my order i want a gene rayburn uh frank gorshin as the riddler uh, Liberace, I'm gonna miss Lee, uh, and a Dolly Parton. She's gonna be extra. You're telling me. <laughs> uh, uh, what's the total? $42,000. Chicken feed, I'm a rock star. Your wake up call, Mr. V. Whoa, what a dream sequence. I've soiled myself. What I need is a hot shower, a mental floss, and a spiritual cleansing by the Reverend Hazel Cassell on WEAA Radio in Baltimore. 15,000 watts of faith healing power on the Chesapeake Bay. In 1970, I was doing faith healing. I was doing laying on, on of hands on a man about 40 years of age. And I felt compelled to just pray harder and harder and harder. And as I was doing it, strange voices started coming out of this man. And I continued to pray over this man for about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. I had at least four different entities come from this man. Um, about two hours later, I realized that I had expelled the forces from the man, but that at least one of these spirits had entered a little girl. And this is how my exorcism healing started. I see the meat men as very successful band in Las Vegas and doing very, very well. Ciao, Hazel. Who loves you, babe? Purified, purged, cleansed but saddened, for it is bittersweet to must leave this fair city of Baltimore. But I know the memory will last forever. 
because I got it on video. Still no junket of this nature is complete without some large ceramic useless doodad to further clutter the prefab modular mobile unit that I call home. We got him because he was eminently fuckable. Much more so than you know who. Okay, this is our <clears throat> this is our enemy society speed metal merchant of death anthem of our last platter. It's called Church is Boring, Drugs Are Fun.
shoes for short little Mexican guys that fit me, the Greek god. Am I going to get a piece of ass in these tonight or what? This is my Dave Vanian shirt. Very spooky, don't you think? Glenn Danzig keeps thinking he's Satan. Well, God damn it, I'm Satan. You're all going to hell because you came to see me tonight. You know that, don't you? <laughs> Better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. Milton, Paradise Lost. Speaking of pagans, this is another one off our new album. Except for...
Suicide gig, huh? Oh, I don't know, Sugar Daddy Lucifer. Life's just passing me by. All I ever wanted was a dip in egg nades at the blonde from Abba's gene pool, a job as towelboy for Tom Jones, and enough cabbage for vices and luxury items. You just sign this Scandinavian love god, and I'll go one better. A hectic, hell-bent trip around the U.S. of A. Choice, Dad, where do we start? Why, breakfast in Baltimore. Of course! <laughs> Welcome to Baltimore, the hairdo capital of the world. Dear Mom, having fun in Satan's lesions. Wish you were here. Ever since I sold my soul, life has been so hot. Tonight, we're going dancing. Hope my meringue isn't rusty. Oh well, gotta go paint the town red. Ha! Love tech. Tesco V! Crank it up a notch, pencil neck! It's happy hour at the Inferno! Surf's up on the river sticks, and my goat needs a milk it. I don't know, Diablo, I'm lower than a slug's butt. Oh, what's the matter, huh? Aren't you enjoying the fruit you get down nation? I've had a bowl full, but, but I'm lonely. Ah, oh, criminy, weed bag. What you need is a date for the DNA. Arc Seraph, baby. You're an American tour with the odd in Odyssey. But man ponders the afterlife. What happens when I rack my 1100cc rice burner in a blazing ball of glory? Your soul will be mine. Well, you will save me a seat on the Tribunal of Hate. Uh, not exactly. Well, an air conditioner at least? Put it this way, Tesco. Dress light. Yo, purveyor of all its evil. Let's go to Ethiopia and drop diet pills in the water supply. Yeah, we did that last week. We could go to New Delhi and pick fights with lepers. There's your soul, Tesco. I'm in the mood for something tawdry, titillating, and tempestuous. Let's go to Baltimore, hoist the highball, and watch dancing devil babes jockey for position in your inner sanctum. Bingo! Tesco V, as a buck private in the squadron of doom, you must bear the brand of your benefactor. Huh? You know, uh, skin graffiti, uh, meat bureau, uh, a tattoo. I'm there, but, but do they serve chili? Oh! <laughs> Dark Lord, you weave a magnetic web. Learn to pick up the recruiting techniques. You used to sell Amway. So where do you look for converts? Oh, well, yeah, you have your basic sex offender, um, politicians, uh, video evangelists. But I like to peruse the yuppie chain restaurants. Chocos, dimples, nipples, rump roast charlies. You know, places like that. So, uh, who've you got lately? Oh, we got this one guy who's burning up the lounge at the Hades Trump Hotel and Casino. But you wouldn't know him. <laughs> I'm thirsty. 
Your soft drink, Mr. V. Ladies and gentlemen, I like back to Wales. You're gonna find colored people living in your neighborhood. How about that? <laughs> to hold and I feel such a long way from home Yes, I know that our love is still new But I promise it's gonna be true Please let me stay Don't you send me away Oh, no, no Tell me, baby, that you need me Say you'll never leave me That you really are me Here in my arms you belong How can this feeling be wrong? Darling, be kind For I'm out of my mind over you oh, Tell me, baby, that you need me Say you'll never leave me Love me tonight to be a photo of an oriental girl peeing on a guy in a gorilla mask. Pretty fucking cool, huh? She's on the phone. I wonder who she's talking to. Her broker. 
Are you any of you youngsters on the make here tonight? Looking for a little of that smooth satin like poontang? <laughs> or maybe that scratchy, crunchy Hershey Highway? <laughs> I've got some new lines for you. None of this, what's your sign? What are you doing? Haven't I seen you somewhere before? You gotta come right to the point, particularly with these Madonna types, you know, the material girls. You simply, you simply walk up to them and say, okay, a gram of nose candy, I washed your 300ZX, you gam the PP. That's it. Okay, this is it, this is the last song. My electrical tape tells me that it's almost time. They don't want all you angry youth clashing with the people from the amusement park. Mr. Brian Axman Baker. <laughs> Arena Rock is not dead. <laughs> Cambodian child. Where's the meat man? You suck meat man. Stop! Cut crystal and punch or nothing. 
Look, Garth, be reasonable. A keg of Heineken's gonna do the trick perfectly. We only have this affair once a year. I want punch, punch, punch. Okay, let's, let's be reasonable. Look, let's just call some of the old regulars and see if we can get to come first. I'll try to... Hi, boy. Garth, gay council, how's it going, big guy? Great, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So the meeting's gonna be Thursday at 8. Can you make it? Great, all right, bring the Blondie Benatar, and I think it's your turn for Cokes and Chips there, sweetheart. Right, okay, well, uh, Boyd, I can't come over tonight. Boyd, you've got to face it, Boyd. It's over. Goodbye, Boyd. Christ, I let him dip into my glory hole one time, and he thinks we're lovers. That young buck's simply impossible. Jeez. Here, let me try calling somebody, all right? Really? I'm sure Cliff will be at home. Comes on like gangbusters. <sighs> Hope he's there. Cliff? Cliffy? <laughs> this is Gene, you know, East Lansing Gate Council. Hey, the, uh, the meeting's gonna be at Dave Winkelstern's place. This Friday, yeah. You know, it's the Dude Ranch uh, on M78. Right. Oh yeah, it, it'll be a blowout if you know what I mean. Okay. See you there, bye. Well, simple as that. God, that guy's a real cream puff, isn't he? He's sweet. What, what is that you're sucking on? I haven't seen you kind of poking on it. What is that? Some of that bad thing, Muggles? Why don't you give me a hit of that? Come on, Gene, we go way back now. Give me a hit of that. Oh, no, here, suck. Mm. Oh, Gene, baby. Hawaiian, you really outdid yourself this time. Only the best. Uh, great. Hey, have you seen that new tennis instructor? Oh. No. God, I get that guy's cranks as long as my arm. I just love to take that rocket up my mud trail. Ew. Yeah. That's it. We're not doing great! song about me and the little voices I hear in my head. <laughs> I've got a problem. One, two, three,
some legendary jerk off the Beatles. What the Beatles? We look for me. They think that's bad, but <laughs> we think that's neat. <laughs> Hotel accommodations for most guests of Saturday Night Live were furnished by Berkshire Place, a Dunphy Classic Hotel, in exchange for this announcement. For reservations at Dunphy Hotels in the U.S. and Europe, call toll-free 800-228-2121. Upstairs. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, my butt is all full of liquid poo. Hey, Paul, we're gonna be ready in a minute. All right. We're ready to rock. We're ready to roll. Okay. All right, guys. Woo! Slide. 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 Calisthenics, gentlemen, line up. All right. And the one. Ha. And a two. Okay. And a three. Uh. And a four. Uh. It's called a chair pick. Uh. Chair pick, man. This is That's called something else from my angle. It's called something else from your angle. It's a little tighter. Uh. Here we go. Ah, uh, here we go. Is there anything little that you'd like to say back. before you go on for one of the final Meat Men performances? I just want to say one thing. I want to make a million bucks. I don't care how. I'm saying one thing. I'm glad. I didn't get this haircut. Here right here. Check it out. No, no, do Turn your bet, do your bet. Wait. Revenge of the oh! Nerds. Oh! Revenge of the Jesus Nerds 4. Christ. It's an 
old man neck. Look at that. Oh. So, Mel, so I want to tell you something. You know, before a show, you know, we, we may get rowdy, right? But before a show, we like to calm down. We got your beer here. We got only the best Heineken. We got a Poli Fousse white wine on tap. Back there in the back, we're doing great. We're doing great. And then, and then, buddy, this is the charm. This is what makes it all happen. This That's is what right. makes it all happen. That's right. I want to tell you one thing, Ronnie Garvin. You think you're on top of the heap. But when this wrestling federation comes down the brass tacks, Tesco B is going to be on top. It's good business. Good business. <laughs> it's good business. Well, we'd like to, since we're broken up now, and when you're watching this in your houses, it's all history, I'd like to introduce this lineup once and for all. Lyle, boy gladiator, Pressler, man guitar, inspiration. Yeah! <laughs> Ghoul Monster, alias Ghoul Queen, alias Destructor. Oh! On the back of oh! Rambo, alias Grandma Tazoo and his gauntlet of goo. Yeah! Sporting his new white trash hairdo. <laughs> Stewie the Lamar, man. Stewie the Lamar, jungle alias, man. alias Kato the Jungle Boy. Alias Quiz. Alias Quiz. Alias the Rodney Allen Rippy of rock oh. and roll. Yeah! And myself, the Sultan of oh, Sodomy, why? Mr. Tesco. Who? Who? I need to say no more. Give me a Hoover, give me a suck job, give me a blow job. We're, give about, me a to go. Job. We're about to go upstairs to Maxwell's and wow the crowd. We'll see you all. I'm going to do something. You guys just watch on this one. We're rolling. Yeah. Hi, we're the fucking Meat Men. And welcome to the Meat Men video. A veritable handbook of good hate. An enemy of society, one hour extravaganza of cosmic fun and frolic. So crash and burn, baby cakes. <laughs>
English, his religion looked like shit. That's why I love Jim and Tammy Lee, baby. Remember, church is boring, drugs are fun. Subvert society is what you know how. Tell your mama to eat shit and die. Tell me to eat shit and die. This next song is a classic cruncher from the 70s. It's called Rebel Rouser. Doubts that I'm going to hell. From today, on that network you love so much, MTV, at 2 o'clock in the morning after 120 minutes, my new show is going to be on. It's called Wayne USA, so set your VCR before you go to sleepy time, and then when you get up the next day you can watch it. It's real funny. Which means that finally MTV will stand for Meat Television. Yeah, we do this, the Meat Man, the Meat Man do the fucking soundtrack, and uh, so I think you should, like, check it out. Okay? Rip it out. We suck and you swallow. And this one is called Pillar of Saturn.
silverware and batten down the hatches. And this next song is for those of you that like to party, who don't listen to the ad on TV with the egg in the frying pan. Believe me, I'm living testament that 17 years of drug abuse makes you a better person. This next song is about what happens when you come over to my happening party palace. I've got lines out on that black glass table that you've never even heard of. And it's called, Come On Over To My Trip.
this time.
the Dutch Sherry Place thing was supposed to be here in the cell tonight, but they sent me the wrong record. It was like low as in the polka dots or something. This one's called Wine, Wenches, and Wheels. Deal 100,000 watts of faith healing power, and it's unauthorized use, may be punished by fine and incarceration. Amen.
sex to a boogie rock or a bat. Yeah. Get some monitors for the drummer in his front door. My sentiments exactly. This next one is about a typical Friday night in the nation's capital when I'm not down here playing. Nice loop. It's about the nuts and bolts of breaking and entering old people's houses. Maybe 
two bombs on the street here in Atlanta. Genocide of a race. We salute you. This goes out to Mr. Hussein himself. It's called the Rocky Chucky Suck!
Madonna Giacalone, Del Greco Di Gregorio, who died suddenly when his car blew up tomorrow morning at 8.30. How many of you believe that drugs are a way of life? Remember, drugs will chew you up and spit you out. And you'll love every goddamn minute of it. And this opus is dedicated to those of you that like to get chewed.
coming out in a couple of months. Uh, Sympathy for the record industry from Los Angeles. I got a freebie here for you.
Ladies, raise your technical difficulties. Curvaceous cuties and a couple more tunes. The baddies riding up the crack of their ass. Tits bobbling all over the place. And as soon as we once again are working units, a five piece probabilistic band, we will come out and play for you. While I kill time telling one liners. if I touch your breasts. It's happened before. And I need my nose.
G.G. Allen lately? He's rotten in a cell in Adrian, Michigan. Poor staff was set up. Some girl said, G.G., please threaten me, cut me, bear, burn me. And then the next day she called the buzz and he's now doing some time. We normally reserve the dedication for our good friend Gigi, but tonight I have a special dedication for that bald fucking Irish chick, Sinead O'Connor. Someone... Someone I personally hate to the very depth of my soul. Anybody who disses Frank Sinatra should die. This goes out to that bone chick. Let's have a moment of silence and I'll pray for her untimely agony where it'll be mine. There's a silence. This song is called Anal Face. Yeah. 
170 by 13 radial tires. And I'm all disoriented from rubbing the hindquarters of those Buxotics. Oh, okay. goes out to all the funny girls with the plaid shirts, the haircuts, the dumpy butts, the ones that like to lick each other, right there, you know who I'm talking about.
Madrid made his move on the inside as the speedometer bounced over that 140 mile per hour mark. But he got a little too deep in the turn and didn't see the shot call. All I saw was a burning, hurtling ball of death as he blasted on the cool on it. Start trimming his GS 11 How many of you people have had a recent trip to Europe? Overseas, where all the people talk funny? For those of Europeans in the audience, I'd like to introduce a few new words to your vocabulary. Like deodorant. It's just this insane jealousy for us Yanks and our cool lifestyle that makes those frogs and limeys, you know, turning green. So this one was an old one that we changed the words to, to become French people suck. Seen and every dead. French people suck. French people suck. French people suck. French people suck my neck. For all of you fat girls that like to lick pussy. Emotionally traumatized. 
Good evening. It's great to be back in America. My name is Raul Iglesias. Some of you may know my short Latin brother, Julio. When these records play, your white American girlfriends cream their 501 jeans. I am riding on Julio's uh, coattails, as they say. I would like to do a little stand-up for you tonight, a serenade on my bugle. My first impression is of one of your favorite U.S. comedians, Pee Wee Herman. Uh, uh, uh. You like that? Fucker. I need reinforcements. Where is Gomez? Go, ladies and gentlemen, Gomez Sahara. Let's hear it. Gomez and I wrote this song while sucking on wet burritos. It's called Kisses in the Sunset. like two limpid pools of casserole 10W50. Your lips are like two night crawlers making love in a very large stinky pink ball. And your bush, a glorious heavenly love tunnel. It feels it like rich, 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 rich. How I long to plunge headlong in your flaming pit of desire. Grinding, seductively pumping, sweating, stinking, pumping. Loving you like you've never been loved quite like before. Oh, my love kitten. Let me take you away from all of this. Let me fudge, let me pack for poop shoot. I long to thrust your face with my glorious seven-inch manhood. Come to me with me as we save our kisses in the sunset. Good evening at Club Day Stop, but you'll be locked, locked, and locked, locked. We 
love you gals, and even when it was there, another it was Joe Check. And even when it says the liquor saves it, started pickle pile. Drugs and hates Reagan the Klan and his mother. His hobbies include beating off while watching videos of himself beating off, skateboarding, and various inhalants. Contestant number two is Bambi Slunk from San Jose, California. Bambi loves everyone, hates war, family disease, hates them, and doesn't give them a diet of Pepsi. Bambi's favorite bands are Crucifix and MDC and the Split Boy. Split Boy! One of you, 550 people to answer this question correctly, will win a million dollars and a date with this foxy dude, who is the second baseman of the 1938 Brooklyn Dodgers. Oh, I'm sorry, and that's all the time we have for tonight. Remember, gang, Punkorama was sponsored by Nutsy Sex Toys and Rubber Goods, and by Anally's, now in banana avocado flavor, and of course by Edma House, the resident guy that feeds and irrigates you. And of course, our regular sponsor, In Touch Factory. Magazine for that five and cool Thank you very much. <clears throat> Another oldie, which I'm sure all your baldies will love. How many baldies do we have here tonight? Good. Good to see. This is more good hate, which the Meatmen are known for. I'm sorry, it's been four years and it still touches me in a special way. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Lately, there's been some reports in the newspapers 
But my wife Priscilla begged me on bended knee. She said, Elvis, please, please fuck on me. The famous said I didn't do it, but let it be known today that I plowed her fallow field with my love tractor on many occasions. And I dedicate this song to my dear belated wife, Priscilla. Oh my God. And you love me, sweet Never let me go You have made my life complete And I hate you so Yet another tribute to my penis. It's called Pillar of Sodom. Or for you Jews in the audience, Pillar of Shalom. More bad heavy metal, don't you love it? I told the Lord 
Merchants of Death do we have out here tonight? I see our old buddies Slayer are coming. You never see their faces once through the whole set. It's like... Oh yeah, what well, we're gonna do... We're gonna do like five second versions of some of our favorite Slayer songs. This one's called, My Uncle Floyd is Satan. This is for those of you who want to join us in the depths of hell. 666. Hey, hey. No, no, that, that's my penis is Satan. It's the other one. Get it right, okay? This is for those of us, or those of you who still want to join you or us in the depths of hell. I really love Satan. I love Satan, pretty fucking cool. And I hate my mother. Oh, Randy's gonna be pissed. But still come and see him, because they do some other songs too. We're gonna do an acapella. Hey, did you hear that? I'm sure you all heard about all the organs and stuff and the bloody sheets that washed up on the Jersey Shore. You wonder how you get tapeworms. Swim in that fucking slop and then wonder how you get them. And until you shit the head, you still have Mr. Tapeworm. Boogie, 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 boogie
Bad like pot, they sweep from juices. Mr. Tabram never refuses. Then he beat the pot. Second life puts in my eye. Oh, Mr. Tabram, they make this. Like Mr. Tabram, make my rain burn. the ice here and give away some free shit. I'm going to do a punk rock impression, see if you can guess who this is. I've got no hair! Oh, come on, that's my good friend Ian Mackay. Get it? Oh, come on, you're a little slow. Uh, they got it in New York. I do have this picture that I showed the crowd last night, and I have to show you too. And those of you who were there last night, I'm sure it bears repeating. It happens to be a photo of an oriental girl peeing on a guy in a gorilla mask. Pretty fucking cool, huh? She's on the phone, I wonder who she's talking to. Her broker. Are you, any of you youngsters on the make here tonight? Yeah, good. Looking for a little of that smooth satin-like poontang? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe that scratchy, crunchy Hershey Highway? <laughs> I've got some new lines for you. None of this, what's your sign, what are you doing, haven't I seen you somewhere before? You gotta come right to the point, particularly with these Madonna types, you know, the material girls. You simply... You simply walk up to him and say, okay, a gram of nose candy, I washed your 300ZX, you gam the PP. Yeah. It's the direct approach. Yeah. Or tap, you know, one of these real stuck up looking babes with the, you know, the glasses and the suit. Tap her on the shoulder and say, you mind if I splash your face with my burning hot seed? Yeah. I mean, why beat around the bush, as they say? Or you bump into her from behind and say, pardon me, mind if I shock your rectum? <laughs> Thank you, you've been great. I'll be right back.
writing an X-rated computer cookbook it's called Breakfast at My Wang Terminal. Careful with those drumsticks unless you're ready to make a serious commitment. Dueling for anus. Take this moment to thank Randy Ellis.